Hello, welcome to SSGTV South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we will continue to bring you informative videos. Recently, the South Sudan cabinet approved the extension of the timeline for holding South Sudan general elections to December 2024. Let's assume politicians will not generate an orthodox ways to have the time frame for elections extended to 2025 and beyond. So what factors will determine who wins the presidency in the 2024 general elections? In our today's analysis, we have analyzed five factors that will determine who wins the presidency in the 2024 general elections. Here are they. Number one, rural population. With 75% of the population residing in rural areas, most votes are going to come from rural areas as compared to the urban areas. The major mistake that we have seen opposition groups across Africa commit is concentrating on campaigning aggressively in urban areas while neglecting rural areas. It has been documented across Africa that ruling parties do better with rural voters than urban voters. We hope both sides of the aisle opposition and ruling party will step up in winning the rural votes. Ignore the rural votes and watch the presidency slip away. Number two, electoral commission board membership. Who cast the vote does not matter, but who counts the votes matters. The electoral commission board membership will also determine who wins the presidency in the 2024 general elections. This is because having more friendly electoral commissioners on the electoral board means that they can ignore malpractices on your side, e.g. stopping your ballot boxes, delaying delivery of voting materials to your opponent's strongholds, cooking up the figures, and announcing your shoddy win. We expect an intense battle between opposing sides for the reconstitution of the South Sudan Electoral Commission Agency. Number three, Supreme Court of South Sudan. This is a no-brainer. While the Electoral Commission Agency plays a dirty part in rigging elections in favor of their favorite candidate, the Supreme Court of South Sudan is needed to legitimize the illegitimate win. As such, we expect the Supreme Court of South Sudan to play a major role in legitimizing the win of the candidate. The Electoral Commission Agency announced as the winner. However, we are not sure if the Supreme Court of South Sudan is competent enough to handle any electoral dispute. Time will tell. Number four, Greater Equatoria. As things stand now, the Greater Equatoria region has no strong candidate. But this may change as time progresses. A day in politics is an eternity, and things are bound to change any minute. In the event that Greater Equatoria has no strong candidate, the region can automatically become the deciding factor in the presidential race. We foresee a scenario where the, whereby the major parties will give the running mate to the Greater Equatoria as a means of harvesting the last chunk of votes. Whether this gimmick will work or not, we leave it to the guards of politics to decide. However, the Greater Equatoria factor in the South Sudan 2024 presidential race cannot be written off. Number five, technology. Technology used to manage the elections is going to be a determining factor in the presidential race. Again, this is where the friendly electoral commission to one of the presidential candidates come in. In the last year concluded Kenyan general elections, allegations of Kiam's kit failing to work in opposition strongholds, and hence commissioners had to resort to tedious manual voting systems were rife. Accordingly, the same KM skits were working well in central and Rift Valley provinces, then add to the mixed backdoor access to the servers by infiltrators, and you know who has the upper hand. We foresee technology being used as a deciding factor in the South Sudan 2024 presidential race. In conclusion, these are just some of the predictions. There are more determining factors out there that will influence the South Sudan 
2024 presidential race. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the GTB South Sudan Global.